So when you get out of college, because you say, fuck college, you, you were doing it on a football scholarship. There's no point to play football and, 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 get, and go to school if you don't want to go to school. Like, right. you know, you only go to school if you want to. And you get out and you're doing, you know, you're framing houses like the old man, you know, you're doing some construction, <laughs> right? 775 an hour and all this. And did things look bleak to you at that point? Because what are you, about 19 years old? Uh, I, you know, I, I kind of, yeah, I was definitely like freaking out. Like, what am I going to do, uh, with my life? Cause I'm not playing football anymore. And that was kind of the only goal. And you're not going to school. Yeah, definitely not going to go to school. So I guess in my mind, I was just like, okay, I'm just going to get a job and work my way up somewhere and, and figure it out. I, you know, I didn't have any grand plans or anything. And then the grand plan becomes, I'm going to sell samples at Dillard's. Like what are samples? <laughs> like, uh, like perfume? Yeah, and what is yeah, Dillard's? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean yeah. it sounds like a real good plan you had going there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so, my <laughs> infinite knowledge. Yeah. yeah. So, so would you walk up to women in the in the, in the department I, store? Is I was the it? guy chasing you, like with like the little piece of paper or whatever that you <laughs> spray and perfume? then you get it to. Oh him. my goodness! And what a horrible fucking job! Uh, terrible! <laughs> it was horrible. And basically, I was just hung over the whole time in there anyway. And, and <laughs> you guys can't understand what the lights of Dillard's do and like what the music that they play inside of that thing. When like you're just you're just you're just so hungover and you want to go home. Were you hired because I mean look, look you're doing this you're trying to figure out your life and then you see an ad, and the ad says hey make 19 bucks an hour as an exotic dancer, right? Is that is that it was the something ad? like yeah they right, were just right. I, they didn't tell how, how much money which I, if I'd have known I probably wouldn't have went in but because it's uh, not that much money it's not that much money I mean really, guys really. don't make what female strippers no make. not even well it's one of the only jobs that it doesn't happen like that and I picked that so you that picked the one career with men yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's Born a genius and stripping, he is. yes. But, but like that's a, a very, that's a big deal to decide I'm going to go be a male stripper, right? I mean, but like guys will go, hey, that's great. But meanwhile, going up on a stage yeah. and taking off your fucking clothes, do you have to show your cock? No, no, but you basically see it. I mean, you, basically, really, you see yeah, everything it's not, but there's, there's, there's no, the real uh, there's skin, very little yeah. to the imagination. Like, what is it like when you're a kid? I guess you were about what, 20 years old, 19 years old? When I was you 19. 19. Yeah. What is it like when you see this ad <laughs> and you go in for your audition? Who's auditioning? You probably think you're probably going to be killed or sold off. I mean, I was 19, had a sister, went in. She, my sister was not happy about it. She even showed up the first night to try to shame me out of going on. Uh, I mean, she was super unhappy. But you, you were never, you like you a guy who <laughs> danced a lot and everything? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, kind so of the whole reason yeah, why I went in. Yeah. I, I wasn't big. Like, I wasn't like really big. I was kind of like more just skinny and I don't know, could dance. Uh -huh. Were there actual dancers that wouldn't change their routine, like took it that seriously? Um, yeah, I mean, they wouldn't, they wouldn't change them because they were theirs. They just, I don't know. They, they basically would change them because they, they knew they worked. Right. You know, I, like they convinced me to go out and do a clown routine one night. <laughs> And I think I just got picked on when I was like, because I was like the kid. The youngest, and, and, yeah, the youngest put on, dumbest one in there, bozo, like, which is hard to do. Do you put on a bozo wig and nose and the whole yeah, thing? Yeah, the whole thing. I mean, I had... <laughs> I was I came, that I, No, exactly. Right. I was like, guys, this is going to fucking terrify them. You got to understand. <laughs> like, this is not going to work. And right. and I'm come out with balloons and fucking big old red feet and everything. <laughs> How is that good? <laughs> I think I came, I came out to Nine on Red Balloons, look at the song or something, and you could just, even though the song was playing, you could tell that everyone wanted to run out <laughs> of the place. Yeah. And then I think I just took my shit off, and then, like, no one clapped, and then I was like, okay, wow. well, that's but, it. For but, now on, I'm doing my own routines <laughs> for now on.